Hi Canyon Lake, it's Erin Woods, your children's ministry coordinator. Today in our scripture, Jesus is going on a long trip. Have you ever been on a long trip? Maybe it was in a car or on a plane. Man, those long trips are can get pretty boring. So what do you bring to help the time go faster? Maybe a movie to watch or toys? Coloring pages, games. Those are all things that we used to bring or my kids bring. When I was younger and we couldn't watch movies in the car, we used to tell stories. And my mom would tell me stories about when she was a little girl. And it was really fun to hear those stories. Today, Jesus is taking a very long trip. And Jesus is walking with his disciples. And this trip takes so long. So, of course, they need to do something to pass the time. So Jesus tells his disciples a lot of different stories. One of the stories that he told his disciples was about a man that was a Samaritan helping a Jewish man that was on the side of the road. And what is so unusual about this story is that the Samaritans and the Jews weren't really friends. They didn't really get along. So the fact that the Samaritan would stop and help the Jewish man was a big deal. What do you think we can learn from this story? Some more stories that Jesus told the disciples were some of the miracles. One of the miracles that Jesus did was helping a man that was paralyzed. Another story is when Jesus healed the man that legs didn't work. This tells a story of when Jesus helps heal a blind man. And this story is when Jesus heals a leper. Do you know what a leper is? A leper is a person who has a skin disease and this skin disease makes it so that you are not supposed to touch them because you don't want to get sick too. So what Jesus did is Jesus touched this man and healed them. Here's a story about Jesus healing a young girl. It seems like Jesus does a lot of healing. And if you ever want to look at a bunch of the stories with Jesus, Jesus is absolutely all the time helping people that other people wouldn't help. For this moment, we're calling them the lowly. Through all of these stories, the things that Jesus wants to teach us is that we want to keep our eyes out for the people that need help. And if those people are people that usually don't get treated very well, even better. Can you do that? Next time you see somebody drop their books or maybe throw all their pencils on the floor by accident, can you help them pick them up? Or the next time somebody falls down in the playground, can you go help them? Even if they're not your friend, and especially if they're not somebody that's very nice to you, going over and helping them makes a big difference. This is just one of the great ways that we can show God's love. I hope you have a great week, and remember this when you go to school this week. See you later!